India is a land of diverse topography, immense biodiversity and climatic variations. Agriculture in India has numerous challenges. To reach its development targets, India has to face these obstacles with a scientific and systematic approach. That is the core objective of Indian Agricultural Research Institute or IARI to provide national leadership in agricultural research, education and extension. IARI has now evolved as a premier institute in the world. The original institute's foundation stone was laid on April 1, 1905 at Busa in Darbhanga district as a result of a strong felt need of path-breaking research in agriculture. When a major earthquake compelled the institute to shift its campus to Delhi, the name Pusa stayed on. After independence, the commitment acquired a fresh momentum under a new identity with a sprawling new campus of 1200 acres. Over the years, the institute collated national and international level facilities to meet the increasing expectations of a growing nation. To fulfill its designated mandate of conducting cutting-edge fundamental and applied research, postgraduate teaching, human resource development and an entire range of advisory and extension services. IARI operates through its regional stations, centers and a dedicated Krishi Vigyan Kendra. Over the years, neatly streamlined and innovative interventions have opened up a host of benefits for Indian farming communities. Prime among them is HD2967, a wheat variety immensely popular amongst farmers and millers of the Indo-Gangetic Plains of India. This variety covers an area of 10 million hectares across the country. IARI has developed the Pusa Basmati 1121 is another rice variety from the institute. Popular worldwide for its extra long slender grain with pleasant aroma. In the last 8 years, this variety fetched a revenue of 1.5 lakh crore rupees. IARI has also developed India's first ever bio-fortified maize, rich in pro-vitamin A. All variants developed by Pusa are rich in tryptophan and lysine content. The institute has developed the country's first double-zero mustard variety with low erosic acid and glucosanolate content. This is being used to produce Indian canola or indola for a healthy heart. Horticulture is a major aspect for nutritional security and prosperity. The institute has developed Amrapali, the world's first commercial dwarf variety of mango, covering an area of approximately 2 lakh hectares. The institute has developed carrot varieties rich in antioxidant and beta-carotene content, fetch a higher price in the market. Vegetable cultivation under protected conditions holds a high promise due to its 5 to 10 times higher productivity, quality of produce and off-season cultivation. This technology provides an income of 3 to 4 lakh rupees per annum from 1000 square meter area. IARI has also introduced a number of cost-effective and eco-friendly technologies like the integrated farming systems that combine multiple enterprises on a single farm in a cohesive manner. Pusa has been promoting this and developing them with farmers continuously. Technologies like neem coated urea for improving nitrogen use efficiency in field crops. This can help improve crop yields while preventing wasteful use of nitrogen fertilizer and pollution of air and water. Accurate diagnosis is an integral part of viral disease management. IARI has developed ELISA-based diagnostic kits for accurate detection of more than 23 viruses. Lateral flow assays are being used for quick detection in the field. The institute has also developed rapid composting technology which converts agri-residue into nutrient-rich compost using microbial culture in 60 to 80 days compared to conventional pit composting technology. The unit has also crafted a number of low-cost vermicomposting models for resource-poor farmers. 
Waste water management is a major problem. Therefore, IARI has developed a technology of using wastewaters in agriculture. The institute has also developed EPNs that are environment friendly, naturally occurring biocontrol agents for insect pest management. These are safe and have tremendous scope to improve the productivity of high value crops. To further promote sustainable agriculture, IARI has developed a variety of biofertilizers like Rhizobium, Azotobacter, Azospirillum, VGA, etc. The state of the art automated and non destructive plant phenomics facility has been developed at the center. It has been close to 50 years since IARI attained the status of a deemed university. Today, the university is authorized to award postgraduate degree in 26 teaching disciplines. Drawing strength from its wide global recognition, the Institute is busy helping India's neighboring countries to build and run their own apex agricultural institutions. In December 2018, the Honorable President of India dedicated AKR to the people of the Republic of Myanmar. Here is yet another stronghold, the Professor M. S. Swaminathan Library. This citadel of knowledge has been playing the de facto role of National Agricultural Library of India. It is now one of the largest and finest agrobiological libraries in Southeast Asia, housing over 4 lakh publications. Taking the path-breaking research to the farmers was always on top of the agenda of the Institute. To address this, the Institute started various units dedicated to technology transfer. These extension units provide farm advisory services to a large number of visiting farmers. With changing times, many queries of farmers are now being addressed through Kisan call centers and mobile apps. IARI established the single window delivery concept at Attic to facilitate farmers with diagnostic, advisory and input delivery. National level Krishi Vigyan Melas are being used to showcase technology. Supported by a visionary leadership, these farming fairs are fast emerging as a beacon of hope and a platform for sharing positive experiences. The Institute has also initiated an innovative post office linkage model to provide the seed to the farmers through post offices. Unique initiatives like the Mera Gao Mera Goro program helps facilitate farmer scientist interactions and develop future roadmaps. Under Farmers First program, the Institute is helping integrate technologies in farmers' conditions at Palwal, Haryana. IARI has adopted villages for integrated development in peri-urban areas of NCR. The Institute indulges in various national and international collaborations to share and improve its farming knowledge base. This is further accentuated by serving as the venue for various foreign delegate visits and parliamentary committee visits. These visits help involve a large number of stakeholders to inspire them to contribute in the development of Indian agriculture. Since 2008, exemplary progressive farmers are being awarded by the Institute for their outstanding and innovative contributions. Recently, three farmers associated with the Institute were bestowed with the Padma Shri Award. Today, with time-tested technologies and scientific farming systems. We are ready to add wings to their aspirations.